For any subscription business, churn is arguably the most important metric. Churn is a fact of life for every subscription business, but slight fluctuations can make a big impact on your business. Not only do changes in churn impact subscriber counts, they also impact company metrics like customer lifetime value, as well as overall growth and profitability. Obviously, it's crucial to pay attention to churn, but there are many ways to look at it. Churn is usually calculated monthly, but can also be calculated daily, quarterly, or annual basis as well. Additionally, churn can be calculated for both involuntary and voluntary reasons. And finally, it can be sliced for different cohorts, such as low engagement and high engagement cohorts. To find churn, all you need to do is divide the number of customers at churn divided by the number of subscribers your business has. The formula sounds really simple, but the devil's in the details. Calculating churn needs to be related to how you count new customers and overall customers at your business. It's key that subscribers from one month to the next tie out with new customers and churn customers. Let's picture it with an example. Butter of the month is a company that sends subscribers a new variety of butter every single month to their homes. The company starts July with 10,000 customers. During the month of July, they acquire 600 customers and 500 customers churn. That leaves with 10,100 customers at the end of the month and a churn rate of 5%. Let's say they have some similar behavior in August. 600 customers are acquired and 500 customers churn. In reality, their churn is going to decrease in August because their subscribers have grown slightly while the number of customers that churn stay the same. Regardless of your methodology for calculating churn, the real value lies in cohort analysis and analyzing changes over time. For example, you could measure churn for customers who were acquired less than six months ago and greater than six months ago to understand if changes in your overall company churn are driven by newly acquired customers or by customers acquired further back in time. This type of exercise gives detailed data to drive actionable insights into your churn management strategies. In addition to tracking churn by cohort and over time, Recurly offers another unique benefit of benchmarking churn by industry. Churn rates vary widely depending on industry, business model, and product, but these types of benchmarks can give you some valuable insights into the health of your business. If you're curious about what the average churn rate is for a company like yours, check out our benchmark report that we've linked to in the description. And don't forget to follow Recurly to find new ways to keep a good thing growing.